So do M12XC batteries actually provide 20% more output than the non-XC compact battery brethren? At least according to the marketing piffle it says that. Well, hypothetically it should be even better because in the XC battery we got six cells of which three are in parallel with the other three is in the compact battery. There's only three cells and they are all in series so this could potentially deliver twice the number of amps as one of these smaller batteries. So, is that really the case? Well, you don't know until you really know that you know. And to figure that out, we gotta figure it out for ourselves. To that end, I confabulated the M12 line splitter. The M12 line splitter works like this. You grab your battery and you jam it into one end and you jam the other end into your tool and yeah, it works. And you grab your amp meter, you set it to DC, lock it on to that line splitting wire and check it out. You get real time current draw. First test up is the new M12 Fool vacuum. Now, if you pay any attention to the intertube, you will see all the brand fanboy apologists out there saying that with this vacuum, you can't use anything less than the XE 6.0 battery in it. Yeah, bullshit. In actuality, the lower the amp hour capacity, the greater the number of amps that a battery should be able to put out. That'll have to be a future video. I gotta buy some new batteries if I'm gonna ever do that. But anyways, our test is going to be the 2.0 versus the 4.0. Both of them are fully charged and I'm gonna throw it in the vacuum and put on high power, of course, and see whether this four delivers more amps than the two. Jammed in there and here we go. Oh, 20 amps of power from this little battery. That's yeah, gonna overheat fast. Anyways, let's try now the XC4. Wrong way, there we go. Holy cow, about four amps more power. That is actually in accordance with approximately 20% more power from an XC battery. Next up is the M12 Fool Impact Driver. It's the second generation, and I got a one and a quarter inch three fluted auger bit, and the battery is the 2.0. Let's give it a rip into four by four softwood. Holy cow, that was 30 hampers out of that little battery. Now let's see how the 4.0 fares in comparison. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that was about 31 and a half amperes. Not 20% not more, though I did notice that it wasn't dropping off as fast as with the compact battery. So it definitely does provide more power. Not 20%. Okay, one more test. This time with the M12 Fool Hacksaw. This thing can eat through batteries in a hurry. The first test I will do is with the, the 2.0 battery. And to make it work extra hard, I'm going to use a dull pruning blade to cut that 4x4. Anyways, let's do an homage to Tom Petty and cut you down to size. Now, if you're in the public eye, would you give the 4.0 a try? I certainly will. Huh, well, there you have it. It seems that the marketing department was in communication with the engineering department, and the XE batteries do actually provide roughly 20% more amps than the, the compact batteries. Of course, there is variability for every different tool. There will be a different uh, amount of power that they, that they are capable of drawing from these batteries. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.